one thing to be appreciated about skeletons, whenever we look at them, they always appear smiling. And when we call someone as the backbone of a team, we know that he is a strong person. Science tells us that a living human bone is six times stronger than the steel of the same weight. So what else do we need to know about our skeletal system and its care? Let's consider 1. Basic Facts It's tough to imagine that only 2% of living beings including humans are vertebrates, which means their bodies are constructed around a rugged skeletal structure. Some facts related to human skeletal system are A. An adult skeleton has 206 bones largest being the thigh bone and smallest being a bone inside our ear. The axial skeleton consisting of skull, backbone, rib cage and pelvic bone has 80 bones and all the other bones make up the appendicular skeleton with 126 bones. B. Our skeleton is joined with other parts of the body with the help of an intricate system of tendons, muscles and ligaments. C. Main functions of the skeletal system are providing support, facilitating movement, protecting internal organs, producing blood cells, calcium storage and regulating certain endocrine functions. D. Female skeleton is broader at the pelvis to facilitate childbirth, whereas male skeleton is broader at the shoulders, other features being largely common. Two. Diseases and ailments of bones Bone diseases have a variety of reasons and factors, some of which are A. Hereditary factors, making us susceptible to diseases such as arthritis or osteoporosis B. Deficiencies of vitamin C and D and minerals such as calcium due to wrong food habits resulting in diseases like osteomalacia or scoliosis causing deformed bones. C. Bone and blood cancers without specifically ascertainable causes. D. Lack of exercise causing stiffness of joints and affecting stimulation of bones. E. Wrong postures due to either bad habits or occupational hazards causing disabilities and movement disorders. F. Accidents caused by either lack of care or situations not under control resulting in breakage of bones. 3. Prevention and management of bone diseases Just like every system of our body, for prevention and management of skeletal system, bones and joints need an active regimen such as A. Eating right food like green vegetables, nuts, fruits, seeds, eggs, seafood and mushrooms for adequate supply of vitamins and minerals. B. Direct exposure to the sun for at least 15 minutes every day for vitamin D absorption. C. Regular exercise such as strength training, jogging, aerobics, dance, sports and yoga for keeping bones and joints active. D. Avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol sugar, salt and caffeine being the bone enemies. E. Getting preventative blood tests and bone density scans to keep track of deficiencies. F. Taking regular medication and supplements if prescribed by the doctor. G. Drinking minimum 2 litres of water every day with an extra intake for exercises. 4. Habits and posture care. Let's look at how good habits and managing occupational compulsions can protect our magnificent and symmetrical skeletal system. A. It's critical to keep our backbone erect while sitting, standing, eating and lifting weights. B. Sleeping on a firm bed with a slim pillow and slightly thicker pillow if sleeping sideways with knees slightly bent which is the best sleeping posture for keeping head, neck and spine aligned. C. Exercising daily to ensure basic movements like bending forward, backward and sideways, twisting backbone on both sides, turning head, neck and arms over shoulders for joint mobility. D. Avoiding sitting, 
standing or working in the same posture for longer periods. E. Being conscious of occupational compulsions such as typing, driving and lifting by allowing brief resting periods. F. Avoiding high heels for long durations. G. Beware of habits like crossing legs, standing on the same leg, back pocket wallet and carrying bags on the same shoulder as they threaten symmetry of our skeleton. H. Wearing protective gears like seat belts, helmets, knees and elbow guards during sports and driving. Oh my God! That's a lot about skeletal system. Now a question. Why didn't the skeleton go to see the scary movie? Because he didn't have the guts. Well, the skeleton may not have its own gut, but it certainly holds ours. So let's take care of our skeleton.